Sorry if my lips look big and red. It's because I just put chapstick on my lips and my lips are really chapped today. So if you're wondering why my lips look weird, that's because. But but anyway, whole, a whole new different topic. So so with Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them about to come out next month, I decided to celebrate that fact by looking back on all the Harry Potter movies and reviewing them. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and I did this similarly with Star Wars movies last year, and I and I actually did it recently with the Batman movies back in March, leading up to Batman v Superman, and and I had a lot of fun with those review series. And I'm gonna and this time I'm gonna do it with Harry Potter, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna kick off this Harry Potter review series with the one that started it all, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is based off of the book by J.K. Rowling, and it is a book one of a long franchise of books, and the book series I have is over there, and it's right there. There. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I actually, and this is something kind of crazy, but when I was young, like 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 a little kid, I never got into Harry Potter. I, I thought it was kind of weird, but then I watched the first movie not too long ago, and I was like, this is really good. I love Harry Potter now. So yeah, it, it actually took me one movie to get into it. And to be honest, Harry Potter and the Searcher's Stone, the movie, I do love the book though. The movie is great. However, is it flawless? No. It's, it's not a perfect movie, but it is a great movie though. But if anyone asks me what's better, the book probably. I like the book better, in my opinion. So yeah, uh, Harry Potter and the Searcher's Stone is about... Uh, a young boy named Harry who is played by Daniel Radcliffe, and Daniel Radcliffe is fantastic as Harry. I, I, I think he was like 10 when this movie came out, I think. I don't know. And, uh, oh, my lips are so distracting. Uh, and he is an orphan because his parents got killed by Lord Vo by Lord Voldemort. And uh, so he's, he's an orphan who stays with his aunt and uncle and his cousin, the Dursleys, Uncle Vernon, and... Uh, I forgot the aunt's name. If you guys re remember what the aunt's name is, just comment below, please. Just, oh, my memory's horrible. And, uh, and the cousin, Dudley, and they're horrible to Harry. Like, they practically abuse this kid. Like, they don't, like, R-rated ab abuse this kid. But they push him around, and he's, like, their slave. And it's so, it's so sad. <laughs> and then one day, uh, a big... Wizard named Hagrid shows up to to their house telling Harry that he's a wizard and Harry's like I'm a what and uh, And yeah, that's when the adventure begins and and to be honest Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is one of my favorite movies of all time and I, I, I really like it although it does have some problems with it. It's not perfect though, but I really love it and uh, So while at Hogwarts he meets uh he meets uh, uh, Ron and Hermione, who are both played by, well, Ron is played by uh, Rupert Grant, and Hermione is played by Emma Watson, and I have something to say. Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grant, they would be not recognizable if it weren't for Harry Potter, because these kids around that time were fantastic. They were born to play Harry, Ron, and Hermione, and they ha and they... When this movie came out, everyone knew that they had a great future in Hollywood because they were amazing as the kids in, in Harry Potter. And and yeah, there is a bully, Drago Ma Malfoy, and I absolutely hate this kid. This little piece of ass. I hate this kid. Sorry for my language, but I just... If this kid was here right here, I would ugh, punch this kid in the face. Like, if it was real, I would bop him. It would be like that one scene in, in the Avengers when a uh, Hulk... Punches Thor ac across the room. I uh, love the Avengers. But anyway, uh, so yeah, all the actors in this movie do a great job. And I don't know if I'm the only one who has this opinion, but the actor who plays Dumbledore in this movie, I actually like the actor who played him in the future movies and uh, the Harry Potter movies and the guy who played him in the. Uh, I think the actor played Dumbledore in the first two movies. I think he died after the second one, I think. I'm not sure. 
I like the other actor who played him in uh, three to three to eight. So many movies. Uh, just my personal opinion. I honestly, it's just my it's just my opinion. So yeah. Uh, and this movie, okay, the special effects, they were cool around the time, but they look kind of silly now. Like the Quidditch scene, it it's a fun scene. I just like the special effects are pretty sweet, but looking at them now. They're kind of cheesy. It's like, watch the special effects. I'm going to get so much hate for this, but it's like the special effects in The Matrix. Okay, okay, okay. okay. The Matrix is, is a great movie. The special effects will forever ho hold up. They're amazing special effects, but even if you love The Matrix, you got to admit the special effects look kind of cheesy now. I mean, really, though. Uh, and... And don't get me wrong, the special effects in the first hair in Sorcerer's Stone are, are amazing, but they look kind of cheesy now, though. I mean, eh. and uh, and another problem that I have with this movie is that uh, the pacing is kind of slow at some parts. Like it does slow down a little bit, and uh, and they do kind of an overwhelming job of saying, "Oh, Harry, look at this. Oh, Harry, you have to do this. Oh, and they they do." <sighs> They foreshadow so much stuff to the other movies, and I don't have a problem with that. I think that's cool, but they do it a bit too much, and I'm not, and I'm, that kind of, it's just a nitpick to me, just a little nitpick. So overall, I think Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone is a great movie overall. Well, it does have problems, it's overall a great movie, with great performances, a great story that's full of heart, and wonderful performances, and sweet special effects that are a little cheesy now, but they hold up still a, a little bit. So I'm gonna give Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone an A minus. I really like this movie, but I do, but I do think the book is a little bit better though. Okay, guys, so that's it for my review of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and my Harry Potter review series continues tomorrow with Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And I have a question for you: Have you seen Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone? What do you think about it? What What have you thought of it? Comment below and let me know. Or which version of the first Harry Potter do you prefer? The book or the movie? Wh whatever you prefer, comment below and, and let me know. And if you want to see more of my videos, just be sure to subscribe.